Hello and welcome back to some more Famicom Detective Club, the girl who stands behind. Well, last time, a lot of things happened, kind of. We had a long episode where uh, Goro's dead, Gor Goro's super dead, and we found a pen with some initials on it, representative of probably the principal. And also, apparently, we, uh, we, we were coming back here to Ryoko's house, who apparently had some information about some things that we're going to try to get, so let's do that. Also... If the chapter count is consistent with the chapters in the first game, this is the penultimate chapter, so we're almost at the end. We're, we've almost made it through this. Good afternoon, thanks so much for calling me. Of course, but Saika isn't here yet. Ah, okay. Please come in. Thank you. Yeah, so apparently she found a, a, a childhood friend called Saika that is... Because cause, cause, cause friends just keep popping up out of nowhere. New friends just appear every episode that we can talk to and gain information from. So... There's that. Uh, I guess we'll start with asking about uh, Goro, since, you know, it's kind of uh, an important thing that happened. Uh, I heard he was killed. Yes, yes he was. I know what he lived around here, well, until I heard it on the news. Oh, that's right, this is the next town over from mine. Uh, there's that, and then there's Uchida. I already told you everything I, I know the other day. We weren't exactly close friends to begin with. Saika's is late. Yeah, okay, well, she'll, she'll, until she gets there, we're gonna talk. He's a nice man, kind and thoughtful. So, the whole world will not shut up about. Is there anything you know? I think I already know I told you everything I know. Okay, well then where do you propose we go from here? Principal Arabe, I wonder how he's doing. Okay, is there anything that literally- I'm getting very annoyed by this system. Is there literally anything that you can tell me? How about- about Yoko? Other than what I already told you. Great, I have to, I'm just- I just want anything at this point. Oh my god, yeah. I'm so past done with having to talk to these characters a thousand times in a row until eventually they finally say, Oh, by the way, I forgot this one thing that I should have told you instantly but didn't, apparently. Uh, nope, nothing there. Oh, 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 you just remembered something new, did you? See, this is what I mean, dude. That's what I mean. You talk to them, you have to talk to them 8 billion times before they actually give them what you want to know. It's really pissing me off. Another story from the good old days. What? It's just another story from the good old days. Okay, it's, who does that pertain to? Yes, it's about Principal Arabe. That's right, good work, detective. Most female students back then had a thing for Principal Arabe. Once, one, one day a girl sprained her ankle and, drove, and he drove her home in this car. We were so jealous. That's all, it's a small but nice memory. In his car. Okay, so I see what's happening here. Oh, oh, was it now? I see what's happening here. It was a chick black sedan. We admired him a lot. I probably mispronounced that car name, but I, I, I don't know cars, so, um, yeah. Uh, Ravi drove a black car 15 years ago. Uh, yeah, of course he did, because why not? Is there anything else we can look around at before she gets here? I like the style of this room. There's a phone in the corner of the room. Do I have to use the phone? May I use your, may I please use your phone? Yes, go right ahead. Do I have to, let me guess, I have to call the, the bar again to tell them what we learned. All right, well, double, oh, seven, 12, 34. Nice and easy to remember. It's going bar, Sambora. Hello, it's magic. Oh, magic. I heard Goro was killed. Crazy, right? It's all anyone in the bar is talking about. You're welcome to swing by if you'd like. Thank you. I'll come right over. I warn you. Wait, no. You're supposed to wait for Saika to. What? Uh. Um. What? What? You're just gonna leave? Something's come up, but I'll be back. What? Where are you going? What? Really? What a dick. Imagine being invited over to someone's home. And they're like, okay, I've invited a very special guest. She's coming here specifically to meet with you. And then you're like, nah, I'm gonna just go do my own thing. Screw you. It's like, blah, 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 blah. imagine. Could you? Can you imagine being this much of an absolute prick? Okay. Hello. There you are. Oh, there you are, Perry. Um, there's a new customer here that was not here before. Hi, it's you again. I, I was referring to the other one. Nope. I was referring to the the, the the one that's by your side that wasn't there a minute ago. Uh, I can't believe he was killed. Great. Okay, never mind. This conversation is useless. Let's talk to the bartender. What is it? Um, 
I have some news that I'd like to share with you, in case you don't already know. Cuz was pretty shocked too. Okay. There was a reason why he started coming in again. And of course, you won't tell me what that is unless you want to tell me what they know. I can't believe Goa was killed. What a useless conversation this is going to be. There was a reason why he started coming in again, and yet you're not going to tell me because you suck. Ay, 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 ay. Do I have to think? Nope, that gets me nowhere. Oh, don't you love it, dude? I love this game so much. It's so much fun. Getting stuck by random arbitrary walls. Or, so ar arbitrary barricades that you can't bypass unless you do some really esoteric thing like talk to them a thousand times in a row. So, because I'm so past sick of this game, I have looked up a spoiler-free guide just to get me through this bullshit. Because I am so past done dealing with this game's utter indefensible garbage gameplay system. Where you get stuck at arbitrary gameplay barricades. It's like, oh, talk to them a million times in a row. Or do this bullshit or that bullshit. Or scan the area to find a phone that you didn't know was there. So I looked up a spoiler-free guide and apparently you have to show the matchbox to this prick before the, the bar people will tell you things. Because that makes sense. That makes perfect sense, dude. Why wouldn't that be a thing that you have to do? This makes perfect sense, of course. Oh my god, just end me already. I hate this. This game This game needs to stop doing its things. And now, magically, because we showed the matchbox to Ryoko, he remembers why girls started coming here again. Because this game makes perfect sense. Ah. Oh, that's right, I remember why girls started coming here again. And what would that be? He showed up for the first time in a while around eight days ago. As you can see, our customers are mostly regulars. If someone requested, I'll put baseball games on the TV without the sound. Okay. Go was drinking alone watching TV when he suddenly stood up and said, Haha, it seems my luck has returned. Uh-huh. While watching TV? Yeah, and then he left. I think it was around 9 p.m. You can't see the TV from this angle, so I don't know what he was talking about. Oh, what fun. Great. And now... According, okay, I think I have to talk to him. Yeah, it's according to the guy, I have to talk to him again. So, just to clear, I don't like using, I, like, I know I make walkthroughs for games, so it's kind of hypocritical to say it, but the reason I don't use walkthroughs um, is because I like to figure things out for myself. I like to solve puzzles myself, solve platform challenges myself, beat games by myself, but I, I understand that there are people who prefer to play games with walkthroughs, so that's why I, I make them for people who, who need help. Um, but me, me personally, I prefer to play, you know, by myself and beat games by myself. But when I'm dealing with a game where you don't figure things out by using your brain to think intelligently and think creatively, you figure, you figure things out by brute forcing your way through random bullshit over and over again until eventually something works. Yeah, I'm gonna use a guide to get me through this bullshit game. I'm so goddamn sick of dealing with this shit. I gotta get the phone. Oh, you go get the phone. Sure, do that. Whatever. Just, just get me out of this game. And now we get to sit here and wait. Now we get to sit here and wait. Yep, quality gameplay, folks. It's for you. Oh, okay, thank you. Hello. This is Ryoko. Kisaka called from the station and needs me to go pick her up. Can you come back now? Okay, will do. Alright, see you soon. Woohoo. Thanks for everything, Mr. Kato. Yep, see you around. Tell Kawhi I said hi. I will not do that. But, you know, it's cute that you think I will. Hi, right back. Please make yourself at home. Thank you. Good lord almighty. And, alright, now I have to look around. Uh, like, the cell room, big TV, and then, because that happens, yeah, you have to look around and see that there's a TV there. Because, of course, that's what, what has to happen. And then, you have to think randomly, for no reason. But not just once, you have to do it twice. Because this game is well designed. Um, and then you have to look and examine the TV again, because... Why would- Who made this game? Let me turn on the TV. Just... Oh my god. The baseball game just finished. Woohoo. That's pretty neat, dude. It's, we're watching Wii Sports. Oh, a news program started. の日本時間です。それでは最初のニュースです。本日午後2時頃、神奈川県崎浜市の国道で止まっていた乗用車にトラックが衝突。さらに後続の。え、それでは、それでは、それでは、それでは、それでは、それでは、それでは、それでは、
Here she is. Nice to meet you. I'm Saika Ishibashi. Ryoko told me what happened. Such a tragedy. Yes, pleased to meet you. I'm Magic from Utsuki Detective Agency. Thank you for, thank you for making time with me. You look like a pleasant person to be around. And now we talk about... Gee, look, I'm looking at this guy. This is such bullshit. Okay, we have to talk about Shinobu twice, Uchida three times, then go back talk about Shinobu twice, and then talk about Yoko. Who made this? Who made this bullshit game? We have to just talk to people about the same topics over and over again, back and forth. I... Mm. At this point, I'm just using a guy to spike this game with its bullshit pr coding. I met them in junior high and knew them very well. And then we talked about them again. It was hard to see Shinobu become a troublemaker. And that led to such tragedy and it's so sad. Um, and then Uchida, three times. Her childhood friend, Tatsu, was the son of Teruhiko Uch Uchida who committed suicide after the Kaneda incident. Tatsu? Oh yeah, and I just don't care about the story. I, at this point, I'm, fin I'm, I'm playing this game to finish it. I do not care. I stopped caring about the story a long ass time ago. We call them Tatsu. Tatsu is Nesha's of TU. Um, yeah, of course, because, of course, there's a magical other person with those initials. It was humble but cheerful and kind back then, but he didn't sort of suffer so much from the incident. Okay, and now we should be safe to talk about Shinobu again. I still can't believe that Shinobu fell in with the wrong crowd, such a huge shock to me. I guess Tatsu was shocked the most. Talk about him again. So I'll talk about her again. Uh, they've been close since they were little, I, t I think he, he liked Shinobu back then. I haven't seen Tatsu since they moved to town, so all I know about them. This was very helpful. I appreciate you coming out to tell me. And then to close the deal, you, you talk to Yoko, and then we think. I feel sorry for her. By the way, when I learned of Yoko's death on the 9pm news about 8 days ago, I saw Principal Arabe being interviewed. He looks so grief-stricken. The 9pm news? If you go saw Arabe on TV, yeah, but that doesn't... Okay, so, like, obviously anyone with a brain could have connected those dots. The problem is that the, the, the guy said that you can't see the TV from that angle, and he plays it with the sound off. So, I call bullshit if that's actually what happened. That makes no sense. That makes absolutely no sense. Psycho, I'll show you your room. Why don't you put your stuff in there? I feel like she probably would have gone to her room first, but okay. We'll be right back. And while you're gone, we think. Shinobu's childhood friend was the son of Teruhiko Uchida. His initials are, if, if his nickname was Tatsu, his initials could be T.U. He's surely suspicious. Wait, if Guru saw Arabi on TV, did Arabi sell his home to give money to Guru? And Arabi's initials are also... Yeah, yeah, thanks. We got it. We got it. Then we talk to no one. I hear voices. Hmm, didn't I turn off the TV? Uh, and then, yeah, so by the way, you have to, when there's nobody in the room, you have to press the talk button, and then examine the TV. Quality game design. Good lord almighty, the TV is off. Ima imagine how much quicker I could have gotten through this game if I'd actually used this earlier, and I wouldn't have, I wouldn't have had to deal with all the bullshit. I guess it's just Ryoko and Saika talking in the back. Great. And now we have to call them back into the room. Uh, excuse me, what are you two doing back there? Oh, I'm sorry, we were looking for- we were looking at a yearbook from- OH! You mean someone actually thought to check a goddamn yearbook? WOW! Who'd have thought it? Yearbooks exist in this world? There's gotta be a photo of Shinobu and you are only just thinking of this. Oh my god, and who wrote this script? You're all so stupid. You weren't this dumb in the- in the first game. You were not this stupid in the first game. Uh. May I take a look at the yearbook? Of course, that's why I brought it with me. Yeah, huh? Tatsu should be somewhere on this page. Um, according to the walkthrough, uh, Uchida is right here. Huh? This is... he's... Yes, that's Tatsu. Tatsuya Uchida. Isn't this a Hibino? But the name says Tatsuya Uchida. How is that possible? Oh, wow. Oh, wow. What a shocking turn of events. Wow. Next day, I decided to talk to Mr. Hibino privately in the principal's office. Hi there. I can't believe you dug this deep into my past. I'm the detective. It, that's literally my job is to dig deep and find information. How are, how can this possibly surprise you? All right. Talk to talk about Hibino twice, Uchida three times, Robby twice, Shinobu once, and then Guru once. Because just, just, just fuck me at this point. Uh, you're right. I'm Teruhiko Uchida's son. Yep, because, of course, that's how that turned out. He knows my mother's maiden name. I've used Hibino ever since I moved away from this town as a kid. And then we go to talking about Uchida. Father became a suspect in Kaneda's murder, and then he was found dead. My mother changed my family name in order to protect me from public attention. She's since passed away, though. 
My father's not the killer. That's not possible. My father was too trusting of others for his own good. Kaneda exploited him for his own benefit. Because of Kaneda, my father lost everything, and in the end, my father. Rather no other options, he took his own life. And... Uh, lost person gets no question about that. Gen Genju was horrible, but even he couldn't turn my father into a murderer. Remains to be seen. Uh, Urabi twice. Principal Urabi was the one who supported me when I was reeling from the loss of my father. And we do it again. He and my father have been friends since they were students. Ever since the incident, the principal had helped me with whatever I needed. He, he was my emotional support. I wouldn't be teaching if it weren't for him. And then we go once for you. Why is it in this order? Shinobu changed after she met Go or even before the incident. She wasn't the same person I grew up with. And then to close the deal, talk about Goru. I heard he died. The Kanedas, they're both trash. Cool story. Now let's think. Hibino really despises the Kanedas. Who wouldn't? I should ask Hibino what he was doing when Goro was killed. Oh, great. You know, you could have just had, like, this thing. You could have just had these dialogue options available from the beginning. You didn't need to make me think about this. Hey, Mr. Hibino, just to be sure, where were you and what were you doing when Goro was killed? I know what you're thinking, but I have a motive and no alibi. But who cares what the hell happened to these pieces of trash? That's not what you say here. That's not how you respond to that situation. That was not the correct thing to say. What do you want to hear? I don't know, an alibi? My guess is that girl threatened the guy who drove away in a black sedan from the scene of the Genjiro's murder. The man in that sedan may have been Principal Urabe. Okay. Um, wait, wait, you really think that Principal was... Let me tell you something. I don't know how you came up with this dumb theory, and I don't care if you suspect me. But I will never, ever forgive anyone who insults the principal. Never. You know, it's never a great idea to put people up on pedestals so high that you literally think nothing can ever be wrong with them. Also, get the fuck away from my camera, you sackless little shit. Great. Bye. Nice knowing you. Okay. And then we think, and then that closes the chapter. Hibino was the son of Teruhiko Uchida, and Hibino really despises the Kanedas. In which case, was it Hibino? But at this point, it makes more sense that the Arabi did, Arabi did it. Alright, one more chapter to go, and then we're out of this game. And the thing is, like, I love Missing Air. It wasn't like a 10 out of 10 game. I'd say it was like 7, maybe a soft 8 out of 10. But it was still a, fu a solid ride from start to finish. It was still a damn good f ride. This game is just pain. <sighs> Alright, well, at least we're, we're only one chapter away. So that'll be it for now. Thanks for watching. Stay tuned for next time to catch you all tomorrow for what will hopefully be the finale of Famicom Detective Club, The Girl Who Stands Behind. Goodbye.